Hey everybody, I'm back y'all with another video. So this reading is going to be how the masculine feels about the divine feminine. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. Let's jump straight into it. We're going to see how divine masculine feels about divine feminine. Let's see what the divine masculine got to say. Ooh. This masculine been waiting to waiting to speak the truth. Okay, I keep seeing the ace of swords. So they've been waiting, hangman. They've been waiting. <laughs> they got something that they want to say. All right, so let's see. Three of Cups. They're thinking about an offer that they gave you, okay? They're thinking about an offer that they gave you that they feel like they could, they gave you, they gave you crumbs. They gave you a shitty ass offer. They handed you some a a pile of boo boo, okay? They know this. They know this. They they feel like that. And I feel like also maybe you've been switching up what you talk about or how, you know, like just, you know, you ain't been on talking about no sad stuff lately. You ain't even been, you've been happy. You've been showing that you are happy. Okay. Now this person feels like you're switching up and it has them thinking about the offer that they tried to give you. Okay. They tried to give you a, a, a bad offer. It was, it was a bad offer. Okay. Okay, this masculine said, if it's true love, then it's going to be. If it's real like how you said it was, then they said that no matter what, y'all find y'all way back to each other. This person, uh, this masculine sees you as like you're chasing the bag. Like you're, you're, you have a goal in mind. And I'm I'm seeing like this this just happened out of nowhere. This person did not see this coming. I'm kind of getting also that this person is kind of hoping that things don't work out in your favor when it comes to your pentacle, when it comes to your bag. Okay. I feel like some of y'all may have some new friends. Y'all might be in a new circle. And I see you get into the bag. This masculine sees that as well. Like you're working towards something. You you got around a different group of individuals and you, you are leveling up. This masculine got some real envious negative energy. I'm going to say that. They are spying on you. There's some gossiping going on about you as well too. But like this person is gossiping about you. Maybe talking to you with the queen, talking about you to a queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a knight of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, I feel like this masculine feel like you done got around a whole different group of people and they are watching you. 
They are watch you. I feel like you're level. You have leveled up. Okay, you have leveled up. This could be a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male, or a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Why is this person spying? Let's see. What? <laughs> why is the page of swords here? What are they looking for? I'm getting like, they see your money growing. They see you, uh, you it's something about your pentacles, okay? I'm hearing that song by Summer Walker. Tell me what's changed. Is it my status? Is it my pockets? I don't know really how it go. I forgot how it go. But she's asking like, so what's changed? You bringing my line all of a sudden. Oh, because you see the change? You see what, see what I got going on? So what's different? Because back then, back then, no car, no show was your motto. Only hit me up at the, after the club and you up that bottle. Mm -hmm. And it's like this masculine sees the growth. Okay. Ooh. They mad because you getting attention. You're, listen, nine of cups and the six of wands is a desire that is being fulfilled. Okay. So you're fulfilling something. You moved on. You moved on from this connection and you started doing better. And this person is, they, this masculine is mad about that. Hurt in his feelings. Bothered. Yeah, because they don't, they don't got nothing to do with it. They don't. They're not a part of it. So they feel some type of way. They wish that they could just force you to, you know, do what they want you to do. Like, they they, they wish that they could just, like, force you to, you know, reappear back into their life. And then y'all work things out. But they're not a part of it. And they feel some type of way because they aren't a part of it. They aren't a part of your success. This masculine loves to keep drama going. I'm hearing... Um, keeping You're keeping this masculine out of your business for the first time. And this, this scares them. They worried about this. Y'all talk about everything, and they just surprised that you didn't come back yet. You ain't ran back to them yet. This person is saying, I hope it work out for you, but to tell the truth, ever since you moved on, it's like you love life more, like you're doing more with your life. They feel bad for how they treated you, um, and it, it just seems like you're doing better. You got you. You're more in control of your emotions and and your mental, your physical. Like it's like you just gain control of your life. But this masculine got a problem with liking to keep drama going. Okay, like I said, this masculine is jealous that you're winning in life right now, and they're not a part of it. And this masculine is used to you telling them what you got going on, like involving them. And they they got to watch from the side. They got to watch from the sidelines. Yep. And look at this. They have a major regrets. Okay. So this is going ahead into the future. Them keeping drama going ended up. Them keeping drama going, trying to keep you in your feelings, trying to... Um, Stop you from getting to success by throwing negativity, throwing all type of stuff in your way. Um, they backfired on them. This person wants this masculine want to apologize for you. Apologize to you. 
I see some some sneakiness going on. Maybe there was some deception with that seven of swords and the moon. This masculine was hiding something from you. Um, could have been lying, could have been sneaking, could have been cheating. And they're regretting keeping that drama going, okay? Yep, they're thinking about that offer, okay? They're thinking about that offer that they gave you. They tried to give you some little breadcrumb as offer, okay? They tried to give you some. They tried to give you some bullshit ass offer, and you see, they've been thinking about this constantly. They thought that you was gonna go for it, straight up. They thought you was gonna go for it, but you didn't. Two of Swords and the Six of Cups. You didn't accept that offer. You ain't been back since. You ain't been back since. And see, this is something that they've been on their, that's been on their mind. See, you rejected that offer, Five of Pentacles. You rejected the offer. Yep, you just decided to go ahead and just move on. You feel like that was what was best, okay? Instead of forcing this masculine to do the right thing, you said, "Look, I'm, I'm, I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. You keep that uh, that nasty ass offer, cause I don't want it." <laughs> this masculine is like they they want to kind of slow you down, and I'm gonna be real with you, cause like I said. They see you doing better, and this is their energy. This person sees that you're dedicated to what you got going on, like you're focused. They like, dang, things just going good for them. Y'all got this will energy. So then look at this. Ace of Pentacles and the Justice. This masculine. Here he is, right here with this emperor. I'm hearing how he's saying, how you think I feel? We ain't seen each other in a long, in a while, okay? And they're super surprised that you have not reached out, that you have, there's no communication. I'm hearing, every, I'm hearing this masculine is realizing what you said, you meant what you said, okay? When you said what you said, that's what you meant. So this masculine had to learn this lesson. Like, when I say what I say, that's what I mean. Okay. King of Pentacles here. This is this masculine energy. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. We got Queen of Wands here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, feminine energy. Tell me about this Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles. This masculine sees you being very outgoing, adventurous. You're having fun. Like, you're, like, bright. Your energy is bright. Your energy flowing. You've been growing. Everything just is aligning for you. Now, they're dealing with a third party. They're getting ready to drop this third party. Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. They're getting ready to drop this third party. But they're not saying too much right now. But they they want this connection back with you. It seems like you're doing better. And they know that they owe you some type of apology. 
they just want to, they want you to understand where they're coming from. There was some shocking news that got out. Um, and they've been thinking about this a lot lately. It's been on their mind. You've been on their mind. They getting ready to drop this third party that they're dealing with them. They feel burdened. Yep, they feel stuck as well too and confused. They was keeping a secret for you for a long time, okay? They they was keeping a secret. Look at them. They was keeping, this masculine was keeping a secret from you for a while. And I feel like this masculine like to keep drama going because they want to just kind of get a reaction out of you. But it ain't go how they thought it was going to go. I'm here and made a quick turnaround. And I feel like at one point in time, y'all couldn't leave each other alone. And this masculine is, all, is also saying that he knew that he was the toxic one in the situation. I'm hearing uh, this masculine saying that... Um, they want to come towards you, but there was some talks about money because it got the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands right here. There was some talks about money, and there was a breakup immediately after, okay? So maybe there was a disagreement, an argument about money. This masculine really do feel like things ended with y'all on a bad note. Um, they want to try to make it up to you. But they got to see first. They said, I got to see first. We got to talk about what happened in the past. Um, to see how we could try to move forward. This masculine wants to come towards you. But they want to see what you got to say. See what you're going to say. And at the time, they didn't feel like they should apologize, but they feel like they should apologize now. Okay. So, that's what I got, guys. I hope this message was helpful. If this message resonated with you guys, be sure to let me know what's going on in the comment section below. As well as share with your family and friends. You never know who may need this message. And like the video, okay? If you're new, click the bell to subscribe. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.